it's important to be able to get the headers from any of the requests that were uh, well, that we're building in an API. Uh, sometimes we want to know what the user agent is. Sometimes we want to know, you know, any other information that is best sent in the headers as opposed to in the URL or in the body. So in this first uh, sort of lesson as part of uh, extracting headers, we're going to get a what we call a typed header, which is one of the default headers, like one of the headers that are actually provided for us uh, in the HTTP, HTTP, HTML, HTTP standard. Uh, so I want to get the user agent header. First, before we go that, I want to show you where to go find in the documentation uh, to go, you know, extract all these headers. Uh, I have previously opened the local docs and uh, let us go find Axum. Then uh, I want the extractors, extract. Uh, then in here, common extractors. Okay, so notice that there is this typed header. There's also headers user uh, user agent here. That's what I want for this uh, this video. Uh, we have headers header map that might come later. Now if we look down, it shows that to extract out the typed header. It's very, uh, it's very similar to what we did before with the, uh, with the body and the JSON. So this is what we're going to be doing. Now, something that's really important here is to note that this requires the headers feature. Because if we go and we try to find the, uh, the typed header struct inside of, um, inside of our app and just you know use it, uh, we're not going to find it at all because it's not there. So we have to actually bring that in. Uh, we need the headers feature. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to come down to our um, a terminal here and I can install using cargo add. So I can do cargo add axum dash capital F and then the name of the header. So in this case, headers. That now brings in headers here. And I don't think there's anything else we need right now. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Uh, our cargo toml uh, have has updated. So we now get to see uh, headers as a feature for Axum. Okay, great. Uh, I'm giving it some time to uh, rebuild from Rust Analyzer so it knows what things are. Let's go ahead and create a route. So I'm going to call this maybe um, mirror uh, user agent. I'm going to go back to the mod and mod this. All right, so pub async function mirror user agent. Um, we're going to do the normal thing where I'm not really building anything. It's just a very basic uh, route. And I want to use mirror user agents, mirror user agent, and let's set up the route for this. We're going to do this as a get request. So the route. mirror user agent and our service is going to be a get mirror user agent. Okay, there we go. Let's also set up a brand new uh, Thunder client request. So we're going to do a get to HTTP local host port 3000 mirror mirror user agent and 200 okay excellent now i'm not getting anything back and if i go and take a look at the headers it is sending the user agent which is this thunder client so excellent let's head back into here and now i want to grab the typed header so the typed header is a tuple struct so we can extract that out using the typed header as such 
So typed header, and I want the user agent. I close the left so it gets out of the way, user agent. And then we give the type here, which is typed header. And inside of here, we have to find user agent and pass that in. That now gives us this variable user agent to use. I just want to return this as a string. So we're going to take the user agent and I want to to string it and return it. And that should now come back to me. Now I've already set up a cargo watch. Uh, so the server is still running and is, uh, this request should now work. Let's uh, send it. And here we go. There's my Thunder client. If I make changes to this, I now get that, I now get that change in here. So that is, let's, let's review this really, really quickly. We had to add in the feature, otherwise we wouldn't be able to find the type header or the user agent at all, and it might be a little bit confusing trying to find it. Uh, second of all, we're using the, uh, the tuple struct type to sort of extract out. Now this is a very specific user agent, uh, uh, extractor. If I want something else, like, for example, I want whatever it's accepting. We can actually go and take a look at what we have available here. So in user agents, what else we have? We have accept rages, access control, age, allow, authorization. Um, if I want any of these, then I would just add a second item here to extract that out. And it doesn't matter the order, it figures it out for you. So that's really cool. Uh, I then take that in. This is its own special type user agent, but I'm able to do a two string on it to get the raw string value of it. And then I just mirrored that back. So in a way, it's very similar to the other, uh, to, to everything else that we've done to extract data out from the request. And then we put that back in. In the next video, we're going to be talking about what if it's not a typed header? What if it's a custom one? Anyways, I will see you in that video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.